We can evaluate Faraday's law at any spatial position and time step. That is, we can center the partial time and spatial derivatives at any point in space and time. But we want to be strategic about where and when we solve Faraday's law. The reason is, if we solve this equation at the wrong time or spatial position, we will need h, y, and e, z values that are not already stored in the grid that we developed for Ampere's law. It turns out that we should evaluate the entire equation here at time step n, at all the n time steps, integer time steps, and at half integer spatial positions, so at i plus 0.5. If we do this, then on the left side, we're going to get e, z, i plus 1, n. So since it's a spatial position, we're taking uh, one half grid cell to the right and subtracting e, z at position i, one half grid cell to the left, divided by delta x. And that's equal to mu. And now we have the time derivative centered at n. So I'm going to take h, y, i plus 0.5 it's at the i plus 0.5 location, and a half time step into the future. So that's going to be n plus 0.5 minus h, y at the same location, but a half time step into the past, n minus 0.5, and all of that divided by delta t. And you can see that all of these h, y's and e, z's are already stored in our computer based on the discretization that we used earlier for Ampere's law. We have EZs at integer spatial positions and time steps, and we have HYs at half integer spatial positions and time steps. So then we can solve for the future value of HY, that's this one, half time step into the future, by multiplying by dt, dividing by mu, and moving this term to the other side. If we do that simplification where we solve for the future value of hy, this is what we get. This is the update equation for all the hy's in the model. It is the second of the two equations that we want to program into our computer in order to solve for the propagation of electromagnetic plane waves in 1D. We can also make the evaluation of this equation more efficient as we did for Ampere's law. For example, we can define coefficients that we can evaluate before time stepping begins. Here I'm going to call this coefficient out in front dA, and this one right here is going to be set to dB. So as before, for now, dA is equal to 1. The combination of the two update equations that we've come up with here, shown here, allows us to solve for the electric and the magnetic fields in our plane wave in space and in time. And the solutions in both space and time are second order accurate. Let's now spend a few minutes planning out the code. First, develop an outline for your code. Spend a minute and write down what the main sections of your code should be. Maybe start by listing the main parts of your code, maybe between two and five sections in total.